Welcome to Rely Local Frederick Business Radio Spotlight. For the next 30 minutes, you will hear fast-paced interviews, unique perspectives, and valuable insight from real people who believe that empowering local business is everybody's business. This show is about the backbone of America, small businesses right here in and around the communities where we live, work, and play. And now, your host, Caressa Flannery, brings you Rely Local Frederick's Business Radio Spotlight. Hello, hello. This is Caressa Flannery, your host for the Rely Local Business Spotlight. And we are making local business everybody's business. In our fast-paced world of thrift, it's easy to forget about the little guy until it's too late. Local businesses are the backbone of the Frederick community, and they need our support. What does it mean to you to see a local company close its doors? Well, we've seen this already. It means the loss of great products and services, the loss of local jobs, and the loss of tax revenue that funds our schools, parks, events, and roads. You rely on our local businesses every day, but can they rely on you to support them? Every dollar you spend with a Frederick business stimulates the local economy. Yep, that's right. And you don't have to break the piggy bank to support these local businesses either. Refocusing just $20 of your current spending toward local businesses instead of online, national, or big box merchants can have a major impact in our community. And folks, we are here today with a local business owner. Catherine De Janeiro is the owner of VoIP Business Solutions. So Catherine, welcome to the Rely Local Business Spotlight. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, we're really excited to talk to you today. We are going to be talking about all kinds of technological things, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Technology is booming across a lot of different platforms. But, you know, the interesting thing is that you offer VoIP technology. Yes. So why don't um, we start off with, you know, just telling people a little bit about how you got started in that arena sure. and you know maybe a little bit about the background of your particular company and how you got started. Sure, sure. Thank you, Carissa. Thank mm-hmm. you for having me. Um, sure. Well, um, the background is that um, the company is my husband and I and we have had experience with other technology-based companies. We uh, have been in the ISP business and uh, my husband also worked at um, data centers, building them out around the world. We were part of the boom of the ISP, I guess, yeah. in the last decade. And the ISP is Internet <laughs> Service <laughs> Provider. Correct, okay. correct. Yeah. Okay. And um, and then, of course, those who are old enough to remember that we had the Internet bust. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went from the boom to the bust. <laughs> so we did other things <laughs> for for several years, as, as a lot of folks did, because a lot of the very mm-hmm. large ISPs and, and telecoms, um, you know, went, unfortunately went out of business. Right. Um, but then, as, as you start to speak about, technology continues to change. And I guess about five years ago, um, my husband decided that he really wanted to um, explore voice over IP and what we could do for, um, for small businesses. So being an engineer, always learning, always wanting to mm-hmm. learn new things, he basically immersed himself uh, into that and actually um, found someone online who um, was... Um, basically a guru in in this type of um, technology, which uh, what we focus on is actually what's called open source software. Gotcha. So that's the whole idea where you can customize and really make the product your own versus buying like a proprietary system. So he um, is someone out of Texas and actually um, is an expat living down in central Mexico now with his wife and her family, Mm -hmm. and they run a um, bed and breakfast down there and he actually runs classes on voice over IP technology and this open source software down in the bed and breakfast that they have down in Mexico. Interesting combination there. So um, I very eagerly tagged along (laughs) for that. Of course you did. For (laughs) that. I did not go to the um, to the classes, of course, that's uh, what Frank did, but um, I got to see that lovely part of, of Mexico. But that's really where the submersion into, like I said, the open source software, which is called Asterisk, okay. um, and uh, started. And, and that was back in about 2008? 2008, 2008 right? yep. Okay. And then, like I said, you know, learning and building, because I, I tend to classify it as to make people understand when you think of open source think of that as like the foundation of your house so Mm -hmm. we all can share that but then we can all put up different walls or different roofs right so what customize it anyway yeah so what we're working on um you know there can obviously there'll be other companies throughout 
actually the world that use this open source called mm -hmm. Asterix, but we all have different, like, as you said, customizations that we've used to make our product unique that maybe somebody else doesn't have. Gotcha. So we're building the walls and the ceiling. So then um, we our first um, customer, because again, we're focusing on um, s businesses, uh, was a, or continues to be, um, a lawn company over in Prince George's County that um, has hundreds of, as you can imagine, customers for their lawn care. Mm -hmm. And they were looking for a better solution for their phone system. Um, and that's, actually that was our first customer and that's how we got started. Great. And actually a lot of their needs over the years have turned into um, custom products that we have further developed. So gotcha. that's, that's how we got started. Well, you, you touched on a couple of things and, and you know maybe for some of the listeners out there that don't exactly understand what you're talking about. <laughs> of course, I, that's um, why I'm yeah. trying to make it a little. Right, exactly. <laughs> so maybe what we, we should do is just you know explain to people what you know VoIP, voice over IP sure. stands for what, what, and what it, what it entails. You know, just sure. kind of go into that a little bit. Sure. Um, the initials, as you s said, um, VOIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. Protocol. And in simplest terms, if you think of the internet, and of course now we're all very used to the internet, mm -hmm. um, as packets of data. And f for most people, when they think of those packets of data, they're thinking about, because of course now we're all so used to um, graphics, uh, you know, uh, pictures on the web, the, that type of data. But it's still data numbers um, for the technology behind it. So instead of it being data packets of maybe, you know, maps or, or print or what have you that's mm -hmm. moving through the internet. Voice over IP now, it's taking those packets, but it's voice packets. So it's how, if you think about how the phone system has been produced since the days of mm -hmm. Alexander Graham Bell, where it's, um, you know, I can hear you now, uh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the voice the over, <laughs> right, <laughs> the voice over the analog phone lines, it's now taking those voice packets and it's, um, they're being sent over the, the internet. internet. Right. Yeah. So it's the high speed internet connectivity rather than what traditionally people think of like the copper wire. Right. Now, uh, you mentioned that you, your company is working with businesses yes. primarily yes. as far as, the, you know, the business is concerned and yes. as far as the service. I would imagine that individuals can take advantage of this too. So what sorts of entities are taking advantage of the voice over internet? I mean, in your experience, obviously sure. it's businesses, but what sorts of businesses? You mentioned the landscape. Sure, sure. Um, that's been an interesting um, journey because certainly um, in the beginning, it tends to be more of the tech focus people, people mm -hmm. who were kind of, you know, already on the cusp, similar to our days in the ISP business. Savvy on the internet. Yeah, where so people forth. were yeah. like, huh, what am I going to do? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get on and chat, you know, and um, I can remember people like, what is it that that this internet thing is supposed to do, or what is this worldwide it's web? It's so mainstream now. Yeah, you know, now nobody thinks twice. Yeah, <laughs> nobody thinks twice yeah. about it. So similar to this, where you know, if you read um, any of the publications that are out there now, I mean, VoIP is is booming. You know, the mm -hmm. next five years, really worldwide, um, the technology is booming. But so I would say for us personally, would be in the beginning more of the tech savvy folks. Um, but certainly, as time has gone by, and people then, you know similar to like how the internet was in its infancy, realize, hmm, there's something new out there, new that for, at least for our focus with small businesses, that it allows them to look like a much larger business. If you think back to like websites right. when they first came out, you could be a small home-based business, but right. you could have a presence that looked like a Fortune 500 company. It kind of puts you on an even playing exactly. field. Exactly, the same think, sort of yeah. thing that your um, phone system, your telecommunications can have you have a look and feel mm -hmm. to the outside world that you're a Fortune 500 company, even though you m might honestly be a home-based business sitting in Thermont, you know. Right. Um, well, a lot of people, I think, correlate to, you know, like when you've got some technology behind you that you do have, you know, some clout. Or, you yes, know what I mean? Right. Like that maybe we should talk to you because you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. So. Well, it sounds like we're getting ready to go to a break. Okay. So we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about all this fun techn technological stuff. <laughs> but, uh, folks, I just want to remind you, from Gettysburg to Brunswick and Hagerstown to Mount Airy, may the source be with you. This is Caressa. We'll be right back. You kind of scared yourself. You turn and run. But if you have a change. 
Chris Wolf Antiques is a cut above the rest. Chris Wolf Antiques is located on East Patrick Street, just past the Frederick Fairgrounds. Visit Chris Wolf Antiques today to see their incredible antique showroom. From oak double door bookcases to antique walnut marble top parlor tables, Chris Wolf Antiques has the antiques you've always dreamed you'd own. Visit Chris Wolf Antiques and discover that you can be your own American picker today. Is your computer slow? Then it should be going to Tech Junkies. Tech Junkies will diagnose the issues and transform your system into a top performing pro and they can custom build you an entirely new one. Ask Tech Junkies about their remote services. They can take over your system and do all the cleanups, defrags and other diagnostics to save you time. And their talented website design staff can create a beautiful site for your personal or business use. Check them out at techjunkies.com. That's T-E-C junkies.com. We left out the H because we left out the hype. Or call 240-288-8126. Hello again, this is Caressa with the Rely Local Business Spotlight. And I just want to remind you folks out there that if you're listening and tuning in to our wonderful programs with the spotlights here, you can always send us email feedback, questions, or interview suggestions to rlf at wthu.org. Or you can call us at 301 637 6736. And we are back with Catherine DeGenero. She is the owner of VoIP Business Solutions. She was just waving, but you can't see it because we're on the radio. <laughs> Catherine, you're, you're just a treat. I love talking to you. You're great. Okay, so we're, we're back talking about this VoIP technology, yes. which is, you know, really been a buzzword for quite a while. But I think a lot of people are like, it's daunting in some ways. Sure. You're like, hmm, is this something I need or should I look at or whatever? Um, you know, and I and I know that it's because it's been out there. There are a lot of people who have tested the waters with it and so forth. But is VoIP technology better than phone? Uh, you know, regular phone service. Uh, you know that that you get out there, or I mean, you know, what is it? What are the differences that you sure. find? A lot of people ask you questions about and things like that, and and you know, like the benefits to sure, a business. Sure, sure. I guess the simplest um, way to describe it is. Think about most people, <coughs> excuse me, um, are using, say, um, Verizon. We'll take them as, as a vendor. You would not be able to call up Verizon and speak to a rep and say, hey, you know, I'd really like my phone system to do X. Or, you know, I have this idea um, because it's, a, as we would call it, a closed system. It's it Basically, in simplest terms, it is what it is. Verizon mm -hmm. is not going to customize and change right. what Rely Local Frederick might need, right. for, which might be different than what the radio station might need. Mm -hmm. But w with voice over IP technology, because it is using the Internet um, to, to, to transmit, it is customizable, it is flexible, and because even more so because a company like ours, which uses, again, the, the term that I used earlier, open source software, mm -hmm. we can truly customize. And that's what probably in the last year or so, a lot of our focus has been on customization projects. So even if someone doesn't necessarily have, say, our particular phone system, mm -hmm. but because the technology is using the, the internet and, and using open source, we can help customers who are a VoIP customer and are using open source software and customize even if they're not using our particular setup. Right. Which again, if you say had bought a VoIP system from say Cisco or Nortel or one of the, the big guys, mm -hmm. again it's considered a closed proprietary system, you're not going to be able to say call up Nortel and be like, can you change my Cisco system? But with the open source software, you, you can do that. So we're able to do a lot of customization. So you, have the, you have a more flexibility because exactly. you can take existing systems, customize them, and then you can For also... For your particular needs. Like yeah. as you grow, you grow, you expand, you can, you know, you can make those those changes. Um, you uh, Say you wanted to add, um, you know, hopefully with the economy rebounding, you're starting to add more employees. With the way we do things uh, with voice over IP, Unlike, say, with Verizon, you don't have to get multiple phone lines as you're adding mm -hmm. more people. People can actually, more people can be on, I'll call it a phone line. It's not really called that in the, in the voice over IP world, but I don't want to confuse people. Think of it as a phone line. And you get away from that idea of, oh, I have 10 employees. I have to get 10, 10 phone, phone lines. lines yeah. So the, the biggest thing, I guess, 
for especially for small businesses is that it's a cost savings. If you look again, I'll use Verizon as an example, and we can come in and do uh, a free audit. I, I know some people don't like that word audit, but I can't yeah. think of another one. Makes but you think <laughs> of a tax man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the, but it's a good audit. It's yeah. looking to save you money, not spend money. Um, Mo- maybe an evaluation. <laughs> yes, oh, evaluation. Word. Okay, better word. And to see, to compare your uh, the phone bills and what right. actually is your need. Because uh, again, you sit down with small business folks. To be honest, I've seen folks who haven't reviewed their phone bill. In literally years. Yeah. So they might be paying for old technology, old things that they don't use or they don't need. And then we can say, okay, well, you know, how often are you truly on the phone? And we can, again, customize what type of service you need. And I know some of our local um, customers, you know, ha- have um, at networking meetings and, and whatnot have stood up and said, oh, my gosh, you know, you've saved us so much money. So that's always great to hear. Right. So that's, I think, probably the, the biggest thing is the cost savings. And the, and the next biggest thing that I think is such a difference is that customization and flexibility that you're just yeah. not going to find with a proprietary system. Right, right. Um, so what sort of uh, customer, because you mentioned customization yes. several times now, um, g- go into a little bit more detail with some of the customization sure, features sure. that you offer. Well, uh, again, to um, explain to the listeners, Unlike, say, the typical Verizon or analog system, when you think of voice over IP, it's the digital phone system. And what we provide is a web-based software package. So each individual employee would have what we call their own portal. So they're able to log in, log out, uh, make changes. Say, like, Carissa, if you're, you're here at the radio station, so you might tell the system, okay, forward all my calls to voicemail. But mm-hmm. your interns say he or she is physically in the office, so they're going to log in and they're going to have j- uh, a different um, system. Again, uh, just a small t- a portion of what would be customization. Um, then for, say, growing needs, if I go back to the lawn company, they were making oh, probably two hours worth of phone calls a day calling. Well, they, excuse me, back up a little, they do lawn and they also do house cleaning. They, the husband and wife okay. each, have a, yeah. each have a portion. <laughs> Multifaceted <Yes>. business. <laughs> so, um, but smart, right? They get the cross, yeah. cross business there. <laughs> so their um, office manager was probably making about two hours of phone calls a day. Carissa, just confirming, will be there tomorrow for the house cleaning at 10 o'clock. So, again, since it's a web-based system, we were able to take their ACT database, some of you might use ACT, or, or you know, any customer management type of system, mm-hmm. and have it sync up to our software and actually, we call them campaigns. And so now we're going to do, say, a Thursday campaign, a Friday campaign, a holiday campaign. And now the system is Does actually the making the calls. So they, they're automated. They're automated, like calls. automated calls. Because I've, ha- I've gotten some of those before. I don't an, know if An they appointment come from, reminder type of thing. You know, yeah, yeah, I don't know if they come from a voice server si- uh, sure. system. But I have gotten those before for, uh, I believe it was my... Um, my termite inspection sure, you know, sure. company. Makes any sort it's of appointment. Work, yeah. Doctors, we have doctor's offices that do it or, um, you know, anything that might be uh, insurance mm-hmm. companies. And in this case, we still, because al- he wanted it, again, to be customized, so we still allow the opt-out that you could speak to a live agent, you know, right. say the office manager. But the, our fellow business folks who are listening w- will really appreciate is that that's 10 hours a week, mm-hmm. 40 hours a month, that that office manager now can do billing, can do marketing, et cetera, et cetera. That makes sense. I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of different features yes. that a business can actually customize. And we'll talk a little bit more sure. about that and and continue on once, uh, once we get back from this break. But I want to remind everyone that Rely Local Frederick is on Facebook. We'd love it if you were to be a fan of ours and see all the wonderful things that we post about the local businesses in the area. And... The Source Radio Network is also on Facebook, and they would love it, of course, if you are a fan of their page as well, because they're putting out a lot of great local programming as well as other wonderful features on their radio station. And we'll be right back in a few minutes. 
Do you want to know the best kept secret in Frederick County? Are you looking for a place to take the whole family and still catch the game? Follow me to the Valley Grill at Hollow Creek Golf Course located in Middletown, Maryland, overlooking a picturesque view of the fountain nestled among Hollow Creek's rolling landscape. The Valley Grill's menu and atmosphere has everything you are looking for in a sports grill, with 25 HD TVs and the best pizza in the county. They have games, entertainment, giveaways, and more. Valley Grill has something for everyone on the menu. And don't forget, you can get in a round of golf, too. Valley Grill, more than a sports grill. It's an experience. A grand home for gracious occasions, historic Cirrusville Mansion is truly an elegant venue and voted Frederick's Best since 1998 by the readers of Frederick Magazine. Cirrusville Mansion is known for their excellent customer service and attention to detail. Only the best will do for your event, planning a wedding, picnic or corporate event, our experienced event planners can guide you every step of the way. Visit us at Cirrusville.com or call 301-694-5111 today. Cirrusville Mansion, an elegant setting for your elegant event. Park Bench Chiropractic offers quality results and driven chiropractic care to help you. Whether you're recovering from an injury or you're just plain dealing with the aches and pains of everyday life, the doctors at Park Bench Chiropractic have the experience, compassion, and knowledge to help you. Located at 1780 North Market Street next to the Banner School. At Park Bench Chiropractic, you will find nice, friendly, honest people who want to help you feel your best. Check out their website at parkbenchchiropractic.com. Park Bench Chiropractic knows that a healthy body leads to a healthier life. Boy, we're jamming in the studio today, aren't we? <laughs> oh, we are back. This is Caressa once again with the Rely Local Business Spotlight. And uh, we're back with Catherine DeGenero. She is the owner of VoIP Business Solutions. And want to remind everybody that they also have a Facebook page. It is just VoIP Business Solutions. So if you want to connect with them on Facebook, you can learn all about the technology and, and, and get in touch and so forth. But we're going to you know, continue on here with, with talking to Catherine about this technology. Um, Catherine, with some of the, the features that you guys have available, and, and obviously you work with businesses a lot, mm -hmm. I imagine that for a business, one of the big things that they want to know is, is this going to make, make us proficient and more productive? And it sounds like it would. So you can go into some of the ways maybe that, that it does help a business you know, achieve those results. Sure, sure. Um, to follow up on what we were just talking about before mm -hmm. the break, um, just the idea of better time management, like the example that I used about, say, the office manager now, she's freed up, you know, hours in a month. Certainly a small business owner could put those hours to better use, like the examples I was giving, say, for billing or marketing, things that are sure. going to bring in money exactly. versus her spending money on now something that's automated. She has more that's time automated. to do extra things. That yes. things that, yes. um, another example, the I, a lot of companies now have remote locations. Um, and the idea of bringing, say, the staff together, you know, might be a, um, a little more difficult or, let's be honest, you know, expensive, again, if you're mm -hmm. using more traditional type of telephone systems. Again, I've had businesses where they might have a business, say, here in Frederick, and then they have an office in Damascus, an office in Bethesda, and they have phone systems set up in each of these places. Right. With voice over IP technology, we can put a server in, say, the Frederick office, and we don't have to duplicate that now in Damascus and Bethesda because, again, since it's over the Internet, the high-speed connectivity, it's... Is there like a transmitter or something that kind of like... Well, you just... Since it's... Now we get the software mm -hmm. in the other oh, locations. Gotcha. So it's all computer. Yep. It's just and hooked up that way. And the thing, too, unlike the more traditional phone systems where you're like, oh, my gosh, where's the jack? Or maybe you're in downtown <laughs> Frederick and it's an older building and it hasn't been converted right. and you're looking... Um, you can move the phones around as long as there's an Ethernet port. So you're not, say, stuck to your desk where, gotcha. oh, gosh, that's, that's like how we are maybe in our homes where, oh, my gosh, that's where the jack is. That's where i got to put the, f the phone system. Right. And with <laughs> yeah, the that's the way it is in my house. <laughs> <laughs> and with the, the phone's there. <laughs> the jack is there. Right. That's where the phone's got to go. the phone's going to go. <laughs> exactly. And 20 years later, the phone is still in the same <laughs> spot. Um, but with the remote locations, uh, another neat feature that 
people might know, not know about is, uh, and I use the example of, say, your Frederick, Damascus, Bethesda, and times are changing, but f uh, at least the phone bills that I have seen, a lot of the providers are still charging long distance mm -hmm. to, say, call from Frederick into a location somewhere else in Maryland. And again, you see these bills and you're like, oh my gosh, they're, they're paying right. so much in, in telco. When you have a voice over IP system like the one I've described, instead of, say, the, the office manager in Frederick has to dial down to, say, the office manager in Bethesda, you can now do that with three or four digit dialing. So it's, in yeah. essence, it's like you're all in the same location. Right. Obviously, so you're you not. So you don't have the long distance exactly, fees and things like exactly. that. Exactly. So mm -hmm. that's, I can tell you, that's a big save. You know, real estate offices that might yeah. have multi-offices, medical offices, law office, things like that, are all typical customers so, that have that kind of benefit. Yeah, and I would imagine that um, companies that have sales reps in ver a variety of areas but yet they have to keep in touch you know with their home base or with the company you know to just update them with sales and things going on they might be in another location but exactly. they're able to hook into this system as well and it doesn't cost the company a ton of money because of the long distance nature of it so exactly. therefore it expands their reach in terms of where they can do business because they can put reps in two states away sure. or something like that you know, with regard to, you know, the, the bottom line. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> which is so important to us as small business folks. Yeah. Another um, example, like thinking, say, primarily of real estate agents. We've all dealt with them. Y y you meet them at uh, business functions or um, the the business card. Now you don't have to have, say, four different numbers on there. You can just have your one phone number, but you can tell the system to forward the calls to your cell phone, to Got your home it. phone, to, at different times of the day. Because again, it's all web-based software. So again, just that idea of being much more flexible and customizable. Yeah, customization and low cost, or you know, cost efficient. I guess we should say. And then it also enhances communication. Yes. Within businesses that you know do want to expand outside their area, and nobody knows so that you're forth. not sitting in your office in Frederick right. you might have told it well I'm on vacation out at Deep Creek Lake and you're you're getting your phone calls um, there or you have it have a special ring or like right. or avoid if it's the dreaded mother-in-law calls we can yeah. do that too <laughs> and of course your company has the open source software mm -hmm. that makes it super customizable yep. versus purchasing some sort of prepackaged kind of that you can't uh, really yeah, yeah it changes you, you grow yeah exactly. or it's just going to cost you a lot of money yeah so that's another good point too that your system can help a business grow exactly you know in terms of if they their long-term vision is that they're going to be expanding to 40 people versus sure. the three that they have exactly. now you know exactly. it helps them grow with it grow with the company so that's great and and i know we won't touch on this very much but i know you guys offer faxing with the voip so that's great yep um, and then uh, as far as, you know, once somebody gets the system, ha you handle troubleshooting and technical support yes, and those kinds of things? Yes, most definitely. That's all part of our pricing package, yes. Okay. And so I, I would imagine um, that a lot of people who are out there listening may, you know, think, hmm, maybe I need to contact these people and get a little bit more information about voice over internet service. And uh, we, we certainly want them to... Sure you know get in touch with you <laughs> so why don't you right now because we're about to wrap it up here sure um go ahead and give us all the ways that they can get in touch with okay Voight business solutions sure sure um the easiest would be um to call us at 240-215-3479 and you could reach sales at extension 300 or you can check us out on the web at voip business.us Carissa mentioned we are on Facebook and we are also on Twitter at VoipBizBiz. -B so we hope to hear from you. Awesome. Well, Catherine, thank you so much for being here thank today. It was me. a pleasure to learn a little bit more about the VoIP technology out there. And I'm sure that a lot of people are interested in this. They just haven't really had the opportunity to ask questions and so forth. So I hope that people give you, get you know in touch with you and get more information because it sounds like it's an awesome feature, awesome, awesome platform for a business to grow with them and uh, the customization features. So thank you again for being here. And folks, that's a wrap. We will uh, talk to you next time. This is Caressa Flannery with the Rely Local Business Spotlight. Thanks for tuning in.
Thanks for tuning in to Rely Local Frederick's Business Radio Spotlight right here on AM 1450, The Source. Heard Saturdays at 1.30 p.m., Rely Local Frederick's Business Radio Spotlight is a movement, a campaign to take us back to what makes America great. Businesses locally owned and operated by you and your neighbors. Thanks for spending your valuable time today with us.